Stablemate by Magnum, Kitsat Stabling Solutions. Hi, I'm Edward Bullock, a Grand Prix show jumper. Today I'm going to explain the difference and demonstrate the difference between a show jumping canter to a dressage canter. I often see out in the show jumping ring people trying to canter as if they would in a dressage test. They canter far too slow and the horse is not going anywhere. When the horse gets to the jump, the horse has no choice but to freak out and rush at the jumps. It is a new philosophy I've had to stop horses charging is to actually have them going around the corner at a more forward pace. I'm going to demonstrate this in what we call a two point seat and that's with my seat out of the saddle at a canter. So, so in a jumper I'm asking my horse to be going at a nice positive forward pace. What I don't want to see is your horse galloping and bolting away out of control like a racehorse. What you want them is to be going in a nice forward rhythm. The front end should be still light and not much weight and the back, more weight with the back end, but it's going forward. That is the important part. What I see in the dressage test is riders going in an extremely slow canter. And while it's okay to sometimes do a canter this slow, in schooling on the flat, it is important that your horse is comfortable and used to going forward. So it's very important that if your horse can jump at canter at this speed and is comfortable, then they're usually happier to jump at this speed. As I explained, we're doing most of it in two point. You can also have your horse cantering in a in a forward stride. Next week I'm going to explain and demonstrate the difference between collection and going slow. Stablemate by Magnum, Kitsat Stabling Solutions.